Jan Mardenborough is one of Britain's brightest motor racing prospects. In June, the 21-year-old finished on the podium at the legendary Le Mans 24 Hours race, and he's currently competing in the European Formula 3 Championship. Yet a little over two years ago, Jan had no racing experience whatsoever. Mardenborough's breakthrough into big-time motorsport came via the virtual world. In 2011, he entered an online competition featuring the Sony PlayStation game Gran Turismo. From a pool of 90,000 other virtual racers, he made it into the top eight in Europe, winning the chance to test himself against other gamers in a real car. Seven months later, Jan found himself competing in the Dubai 24-hour race. When I entered duty academy, I was on a gap year from university, and um, whereas all my friends had uh, gone to Australia or gone travelling, I was at home playing PlayStation, and um, yeah, I loved it. But my parents were like, oh, you need to get a job, Jan. You need to go and find something else to do better with your life. It was just pure coincidence and luck, really, I think. That GT Academy came around at the right time for me to, to enter and, and commit to it 100%. GT Academy is the product of an initiative between Sony and Nissan. It allows Gran Turismo's best players to compete for the opportunity to become a real-life professional racing driver. Any player who proves his or her skill in the virtual world has the chance to drive a real car on a real circuit and win the grand prize, which is a place on the Nissan racing team, with all the training and licensing needed to compete in international events. Since its creation in 2008, GT Academy's popularity has grown significantly around the world. Lawrence Wilshire is the Academy's project director. Yeah, I think we've all, all been surprised. Um, you know, the first year uh, that we embarked on it, people were telling us that we were crazy and that um, it couldn't be done or that we would hurt someone or uh, even worse. Um, and, you know, we weren't sure. We were all a bit nervous. It was certainly something that no one had ever done before. Uh, we didn't really know what would happen. But uh, since that first year, it's been proven that um, there is a direct correlation between someone being good on Gran Turismo and being a good driver in the real world as well. Although the Gran Turismo game has been acclaimed for its realism and attention to detail, it can't replicate the physical forces a driver feels when accelerating, braking or cornering. Yet for Jan, the transition from gaming to real racing proved surprisingly straightforward. I think getting into a race car for the first time was part of GT Academy. And I remember at the national finals I drove here a 370Z around a cone circuit and I drifted it for the first time. I've, I've never been sideways in my life before. Um, in real life, I'd only been on a game and I was controlling the slide how I would on the game and it happened to be working. And So basic stuff like that is, is easily transferable to the real life counterpart. So I was just as surprised as everybody else was. After winning GT Academy in June 2011, Jan was placed on an intensive driver development programme. By January 2012, he was ready to take on the gruelling Dubai 24-hour race in a groundbreaking all-gamer team. Incredibly, they managed to finish third in their class. Martinborough continued to hone his racing skills in 2012, competing in the British GT Championship and the Blancpain Endurance Series. And earlier this year, Jan achieved his greatest success to date when he and fellow GT Academy winner Lucas Ordonez finished third in the LMP2 class and ninth overall at the Le Mans 24 Hours. It's such a cool feeling to be standing on the grid at Le Mans 24 Hour race, ready to start the race. Um, yeah, and to finish it as well is absolutely fantastic in third position. So it's the biggest race in the world, and um, it's got so many passionate fans there. And it's such a long race, and it's such a, it's a dangerous race as well. And the conditions we had this year were so tough, and to be able to finish in a good position is is fantastic. Jan's new life in motorsport means that he now spends a lot of time away from home, racing, testing and attending sponsors' events. He's always happy to return to his home city of Cardiff to catch up with friends and family. 
His parents, Steve and Leslie Ann, have been fully supportive of their son's burgeoning career. And these days, instead of taking a traditional family holiday twice a year, they travel to race meetings around Europe to watch him compete. Jan has made spectacular progress over the past two years and evidently feels comfortable behind the wheel of a racing car. However, unlike the gaming world, if you crash during a real race, you can't just press the restart button. Yes, of course, we recognise that he's in a real car and it comes with it with the danger element, but he has a wonderful team around him and we've been reassured as to the safety um, aspects to the car, that they're over-specced. Um, so, you know, we don't, we don't think about that. I think you, you want what your children want and because Jan is completely um, having a, a wonderful time, it means everything to him. Last month, Jan was guest of honour at GT Academy's 2013 National Final. Held at Silverstone Race Circuit, the final saw 24 aspiring racers undertake a series of challenges, including gaming, driving, a media challenge and a fitness test, as they competed for a place at the European Final. As Britain's first ever GT Academy champion, Jan's subsequent achievements in motor racing have proved inspirational for many of this year's candidates. It just makes you think, I could do it, and he's done an amazing job driving at Le Mans, going into Formula 3 as well. It's just, it makes you think, oh, well, I have a chance maybe, and you know, I really respect what he's done. So in, uh, in first place, um, well, top of the game in is Adam Susquilla. Following two days of competition, Jan was on hand to announce the top six finishers who would go forward to the European final. For someone who admits to having been a somewhat withdrawn teenager, Mardenborough has developed a calm self-assurance that belies his years. Before GT Academy, I, yes, I was quite a timid, uh, sort of introvert kind of person who, uh, who wouldn't really put themselves forward. Um, but since winning the programme, I'm a lot more confident. I mean, I'm talking to in front of a camera, I do a lot of PR things, uh, really cool events. So it's, yeah, it's definitely improved. Jan's fast track through the motor racing ranks has continued in 2013. Okay, there we go. Got it. In addition to his endurance racing commitments, he's also competing in the European Formula 3 Championship. Okay, two more guys. This highly competitive single-seater series should further enhance his racecraft and take him a step closer to realising his ultimate ambition. I'd love to compete in Formula 1. That would be the absolute ultimate dream. To reach the top of your sport is... Um, is what anybody wants to achieve and Formula One is the top of motorsport so to achieve that would be absolutely fantastic.